it's raining finally get some rain so that's good we'll go and have a look at the oil seed rape later um but this morning quickly i loaded the lorry uh lorry load of wheat so we're getting some cleared out of this shed now we'll just have a look we're getting some cleared out of this shed now um so then the idea is we can back um try the loads of potatoes in here um undercover at night and then empty them in the morning but uh, it was a bit damp you can see she was just starting to rain it's sticking in the bucket it just started to rain when i was loading that lorry up now you can tell it was wet while i was loading the lorry because this is all the chaff that's stuck to the mud guards and that that had blown off and uh stuck on my jcb but the plan is today i'm going to put some new metal on the plow uh, we've got some new metal from harvest parts some new lemkin metal original bits as well so we've got some slats don't think i need to put these points on today so i think we're just going to put the slats on today so martin he's got 30 acre 25 acre of uh, spring wheat left to cut he's probably the only person i know who's not finished harvest yet but by the time you're watching this we'll probably be done um a bit of land work left to do a bit of cultivating left to do before it grows up too green and then we'll be on to picking the spuds ah can you guess where the plow is Ah, there you are. Think I'll move it and put it in the other shed. I want it on a concrete floor. Um, yeah. Aha, yeah, while we're in here, I'll show you the drill. So, Dad has moved the air intake to the front. This, if you remember, was twisted round and put there and was facing that way. So I couldn't see from the cab. But now, by the looks of things, um, I could see it. If it ever starts building up again, I can just either stop the fan, come out and knock it and uh, clear it. And if it gets bung up, I can see what's going on. So she'll be putting, uh, she'll be putting the seed on and not leaving any, any windows in the fields. But um, let's get this plow on. Peace and quiet. While we're on the topic of plows, although I have said in some of my videos, uh, minimum tillage and no tillage and this, that and the other, the plow in this area is still needed and probably on every farm, depending on what sort of land you're on. Um, these minimum tillage drills and no tillage drills are all right, they're fine when it's dry, but when you start getting this stuff, fall on your fields, fall from the sky. How are you meant to go through with uh, minimum to this drill and no to this drill without it making a mess and bunging up? This turns the soil over, puts the dry back on the top, and then you can drill into nice dry soil. So we're out with to plow, power harrow and power harrow drill, even when sort of, we've had a lot of rain, we can still get on. Um, then people that's like, oh, minimum, you know, minimum tillage, no tillage. Let's uh, just stick to that. I don't know what they're going to do if we have a similar year to, I think it's 2019, when it was all out of rain. We shall see. Let me know in your comments what you think. Oh yeah, these are considered as uh, the carbon release 
job. So remember that interview I did with the BBC about climate change? Mm. Didn't mention anything about the plough, did I? I weren't allowed to. So, I have the uh, got two old slats off. You can see they're getting a bit war up there. I have blue hands, yes. I'm trying to be a smurf. Um, anyway, what I am doing is, and why I've got blue hands, is because here's the new slat here. I'm just taking a bit of the blue paint off, um, purely because the muck will end up sticking to the new paint on this land, it will just end up sticking. That's why we like to get it shined up. Uh, on this land, it's not so gravelly, so it'll take a while for them to shine up, but I just took majority of it in the middle, and then it should shine up over time, I would have thought, to end up looking like these ones. So that's what we're doing. And she's still raining. So, I'm looking forward to going and see what the Aussie rate is like now. I must say, this, is, this uh, isn't the best studio lighting, so sorry about that. It's quite awkward actually. It's not the... Uh lightest of stuff. Good. It's quite difficult doing it with one hand actually. Now then, done one side, you can see I've put four slats on, and I just want to show you the, the difference. This is the first point, and uh, can you see the gap there? Uh, that is worn up because we went on the land uptown, um, we ploughed it on gravelly land about two, three years ago when it was wet. And um, that's what's wore it up. The land down here wouldn't wear it up. Wouldn't wear metal up at all, this land, will not You've seen what it's like on the previous, on previous videos, but just doing the other side now. Um, yeah, ignore the mess. But uh, we'll go see the uh, all sea rake in a minute. And uh, I won't bore you to death with plow metal and why the plow's important. So, uh, yeah. All sorted. Suppose I uh, better tidy up. That's better. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot you guys haven't really properly seen the plough. It's a Lemkin four thorough. She's a uh, variable width as well. So if you come around here, I'll show you the hydraulic ram. So there's a marker there, and you can adjust how far it sticks out on hydraulics on this ram. Bring it back in so it's easy to do headlands, but um, drill Lemkin, plow Lemkin. Uh, she's gonna look good in the field anyway. We just like the Lemkin stuff. Uh, we also like Amazon stuff as well. So um, they're the sort of go-to bits of kit for implements that we like at the moment anyway. So. While we're finishing up the plow, I'll just show you. These are new points that should go, it's difficult to do it one hand because they're heavy, go there. And you see the difference between the old points and the new points. <laughs> she's, uh, she's wore up a bit, so they should go on there like that. I've got to persuade Dad to put them on, well, 
I'll put them on, but he said, don't worry about it just yet. But uh, if we're not careful, I've been informed that it'll wear. See, it's starting to wear there. So these will just protect the main, the, uh, the main body of the plow, really. But um, I promise you we'll look at the all sea rate. Let's go and look at the all sea rate. Alan, I forgot to say as well, here's a few videos that I recorded on my phone when we were cutting for Martin yesterday. So here's his combine and our combine in the same field. Now then, here's a bit on the headland. You can see the buckwheat just here. I think I read somewhere that's one of the final stages of uh, the growth stage of the buckwheat. But uh, all sea rape plant looks quite strong. Got a few holes in it, but nothing major. I spoke, uh, Dad spoke to the agronomist the other day and uh, it's not looking too bad other than the patch that I re-drilled over there. So let's go and take a look at that. Here's the bit a lot of re-drilled and uh, you can hardly tell it's even coming up really uh, I think the flea beetle the agronomist said has got most of this end that end looks a bit more green um, you know it is what it is it's a shame that that fan system you know I didn't recognize it sooner but hey ho the rest of the field however it's looking pretty good um happy with that most of it the buckwheat should uh die off over the winter because of the cold and um oh i think you can spray it off i'm not quite sure don't quote me on that but um yeah the rape plant now it's had a rain these little ones should end up looking like that so we shall see the uh the other field is looking better than this field but I thought I'd show you this field because you know, got to take the good with the bad. So there's a few plants that for some reason it's not come up as even, you know, it's not an even sort of growing crop. Some, some plants are higher than the others, but uh, you know, it is what it is. I think next year we might not bother with, with buckwheat, we might just combine the barley and then get the balers in and uh, go straight in with the lemkin drill and uh, chop it all up we didn't know what sort what the drill could do because it's obviously new to us um, so we can set the discs quite deep chop it all up and we get a nice seed bed for the all seed rate you know there's some it there early drilling i think we can get it in early get it established but now we've had this rain lot of say done it some good right thank you for watching this video sorry it's been a bit boring um but hit the like hit the subscribe and we'll see you again for the next one see you later Ta.